We'll come in here and we'll take about half off, leave about half, and we'll get uh, a couple of grazing cycles through here, but we'll take, we'll, initially we'll come in here. We got 17 or 18 inches of growth now. We'll probably take half of it off, uh, pull the cattle off. We've got a, another cool season pasture of ryegrass across the road, so until the uh, warm season begins to kick in, we'll rotate back and forth between the oats and the ryegrass, but our plan the, uh, initially is to take half of our uh, uh, biomass off of here. Sam and I was talking, complimenting how big of the leaves uh, the spring oats, these jerry oats have. Uh, lots, of, uh, lots of leaf content here. The first sequence of grazing occurred between April 24th to April 29th. Approximately 250 head was on 70 acres for about six days. So you remembered from last video uh, the height that the oats were at. Um, Sam uh, has has grazed the oats down to probably an average of 13 inches or so. Uh, some places are shorter than others, such as this. Uh, this is grazed down to 11, 10 inches, uh, and some other some areas um, were not touched. So. Um, this is still at, you know, uh, probably uh, 16 inches, 17 inches. So, uh, there's some variability in the grazing heights. Uh, but what, uh, Sam had did is basically, um, uh, try to leave as much, uh, leaf content on there and, uh, to rotate them, uh, before, uh, the cattle grazed it too short. So, <clears throat> walk around here and show you some more so what we're expecting is some really rapid regrowth uh, from what was grazed and he can move the cattle back onto this field uh, very quickly 